New information this morning about how your child's school will operate in the era of COVID. Everyone in masks, distant, and not interacting with others as much as possible. Cleaning and disinfecting daily and after hours. Teachers must get a free COVID test prior to school opening. Students can too if desired. Parents will need to have a backup plan in place in case their child's school is closed or is placed in 14-day quarantine. Any staffer feeling symptoms during the day would leave. A student would be placed into an isolation room with a staff member until parent pickup. Here's what happens when a positive case is found. If one or two children in a classroom are sick, the classroom is shut down. All children and teacher in those classes quarantining for two weeks with remote learning in place. But if two students in different classes are sickened and tied to each other, the entire school closes, quarantines, and moves to remote learning for 14 days. If the cases are not tied to each other, only the impacted classes need to quarantine, but the entire school still remains closed for two weeks. That you have to take into account and you've got to have that backup plan ready to roll on a moment's notice. Meanwhile, Mayor de Blasio, schools chancellor Richard Carranza will be debriefing the media at 10 o'clock today. We are going to be asking all the questions that you have of those two to try to fill in the blanks and understand exactly how this is going to play out during the upcoming school year. And we still don't have a start date for that school year yet. Reporting live from Kips Bay at PS 116, I'm Kirsten Colpix, 11 News.